it's relaxing. And I'd like to thank Elaine Howlin for tagging me. And I think that my channel is going to be a year old next month. And oh, I don't know about hashtags too much. I, I uh, like um. I would tag people in tags, and then I'd go on their channels and comment, "Hey, I just tagged you in a tag." <laughs> And then I'd go back and say, it's been a few days, I tapped it. Hey everyone, it's Alan with the Mid-Year Book Freakout Tag. I know, I know. I know it's an old, old tag and everyone's done it. But I was tagged by Elaine Holland in the old country. Hi Elaine, thank you. I also just watched Alice Black. Did her uh, take on it, and I enjoyed that, so I'm going to link those two below, and I'll, I'll link Earl Grey Books, The Originator, because no, now I know how to do tags. I, I'm very smart. I'm, I, I catch on fast. Oh, this? I'm not worried. It's a, it's a new book, and I'll get to it, but YouTube won't be... They won't catch on to that. I'm about ready to DNF this book. No, it's not Ohio. No, it's not. And I have the book. I have been reading the book. I'll, I'll show you. And he's still on Herr Hoffman. Right? I remember now. Yeah, he spent like two, three chapters on. Ugh. 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 Question one. Best book you've read so far in 2019. I read a lot of new books, and I, I always have, you know, from the library and that. But I'm I'm catching myself here because I'm 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 not the first one to arrive at the party. Put it that way. Like immediately, I want to say best book I've read this year is um, Where the Crawdads Sing, but that came out in 2018. Or the best book I read in this year is, you know, but I know, but this didn't come out. Milkman, Milkman. I read that, I read that, and then also with an audio book, like half and half, and I reread it again, and that's, that's my pick, Milkman, for this year. Ah! Hold the phone. Milkman was published in 2018. Take that back. See, I forget. I also reviewed Black Leopard Red Wolf, and that blew me away. Hmm. Those are my two bets. What about, you know, nonfiction? I read nonfiction. Robin is, this is my nighttime book. I read this before I go to sleep. Oh, oh man. I would, you know, Mm. Two best sequel you've read. Now sequels, I, I do read the crime fiction series. James Lee Burke, for example, the Dave Robichaux novels. This isn't new. Uh, I haven't read two. There's a uh, Attica lot, so I'll be reading this very soon. Oh yeah. I'm really into the Akasic Noir series of, um, of crime fiction. This happens to be a uh, Dublin Noir. And I, I hate it when, why does the library have to cover up, you know, or where the crawdads saying, this is a new book. I'm looking forward to reading it. Whiskey in a Teacup. She's got the rights to do the, the, the movie. So looking forward to that. So not sure. A new release you haven't read yet, but want to. That was going to be, I'm going to pick James Elroy, The Storm. I've um, read all his stuff. This is, uh, I think it's uh, another 
continuation of the LA Confidential uh, series, like uh, Dudley Smith is in it. 1942 LA, I just, uh, oh, I eat that up, I love it. James Elroy was at uh, Powell's last month. I planned on going, you know, oh, by biggest disappointment. Oh man, okay, <clears throat> here we go. What I was li listening to, it. okay, this one, outside looking in, T.C. Boyle, I've been up this, I've been trying to read this for a few months. When I really can't get into it, then I'll go for the audio book. That isn't even audio, it's old school CD from the library. First, it pissed me off somewhere, like a hundred, page a hundred and something, the character starts dissing. Ken Kesey, and I can't remember if Ken Kesey is a character in here or not. But it's, it's, bo it's boring. It's boring. It's like a, a tell of these families, and a husband and wife team, and they're all um, doing acid and going to Tim's house. I it just, I'll have a review on that soon. Percy, are people really liking this book? I. I have a lot to say about it. Um, nothing, nothing good. I have pages of notes. I have like three pages. So I review coming up. Detailed review on on that book. Come on. Are are we not supposed to look down at our notes now on on book two? That's a thing now. Cause if that's a thing, I I'm. I'm yeah, I, I use a lot of notebooks. Yeah, they're, they're colored, yeah. Six, biggest surprise. Now, I am um, glad to tell everybody, and I bought this book for two people now, and I'm gonna buy it for more. Uh, this guy, Charlie, Leduff is the real deal. <clears throat> uh, comparing this to Ohio, and I, you know, you'll say Detroit, that's Michigan. I'm talking about Ohio. Um, Ohio takes place in the Rust Belt, they call it, but Toledo is mentioned. Uh, I'm from Toledo, I know a lot about Toledo. No, I know a lot about Detroit. Um, apples and oranges. This is real talk, real. That is uh, why Charlie Leduff, he's got a podcast. I haven't made time to to listen to it, learn more about him. He was on Fox. I, that's the cool thing about uh, this writer. He, I don't know his political affiliations. I don't know if, okay, uh, eight, skip. I have a, my note here is, uh, Brain bruise. See that? Six? One. Yeah. Give me a brain bruise. Ah, oh, nine. Book that made you cry. Now, I'm like Alex on this. I, I, I could, um... I'm going to go with Ohio. Okay, seriously? Book that made me cry. <laughs> Almost on a nightly basis. Learned a lot about it. I, I'm in that stand-up comedy. I'm, I'm in the movies and film, and I <sighs> see review later. Oh, a book that made you happy. Here we go. Ha! Huh. Brand new book. The individual is Todd Rundgren. Yes. Now I haven't bought this book. My friend in Toledo, Synchronicity will have it. Was uh, just reading this book. A friend bought it for her. I met the man a, a few times, a long time fan since 82, and this book is really interesting because I haven't, I've only flipped through it, but every page is, is uh, its own entity. Every single page is its own chapter. 
And the first one I turn to is uh, Crowley. And uh, if you don't know who he is, that's Crowley. We'll put that back on my, uh, that's a postcard. Janice Gardner, Little Richard, and Phil Spector. Now this is at the wedding. M Michelle Gray, I remember when she was uh, dating Todd, and it was like a backup dancer. Uh, I think the, uh, what, oh, the, uh, I remember when Reebok was born, they had Groucho glasses and a mustache and that. They put them, uh, Michelle had them, Todd had them, and Reebok. Uh, <coughs> where was I? Oh, yeah. The most beautiful book you bought or received as a gift. Now, ah, uh, I re I did, I have one. It's covered, it was uh, uh, like um, a beige, like the White Album. It just had the, the author's name on it, no title. Uh, Boom! Oh, man. It's Finnegan's Wake. I, I totally... Oh, unannotated edition, just no marks by me. Oh, the, the face to the face thing. See that? Oh, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a joy. What thirteen? What books do you need to read by the end of the year? Good question, because I have one. Against the day. Yes, this brick I buy him have to readjust. I I hadn't read this and Maddie, the book chemist, we were going to read this this year. I don't know what happened. I stopped at really digging this book a lot. 282, I think. So yeah, man. I'm going to shout out to Dennis to read this, finish this off of me. Uh, I know he, he hates it when I write in books. But Mark Nash. Mark Nash and I have been talking about a a Dante read-along. Trying to schedule it, you know. I think it'd be perfect for Christmas. Like myself, uh, you know, reading out. Or st start, we'll have to give, you know, the, the Divine Comedy a few months. But we could do... Uh, Mark Musa's Inferno for Christmas, and let's make it happen. Ping me on Boxer, Mark. What else? Are we done? Oh, uh, 14, I think we're done. Favorite booktuber. I'm gonna, I've been going back in the vault recently, like, uh, as if I'm not behind enough. But, yeah, Jason at, uh, Old Blues chapter and verse. Oh, but he did a, uh, I tagged him in a tag last year on the, I, again, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing or no one told me. I mean, and I asked, I asked them for advice or not. The, the Southern American writer's tag, or, it's funny, it's, just, it's like, uh, what do you say, he goes, um, Streetcar Named Desire. Yeah, I remember reading that. Uh, Tennessee, Tennessee, William Carlos. Uh, yeah, so I take uh, him to get back to D DNFing books now. And oh my God, you know, it's just technology. This is an old school CD. You know, I'm old school. I got the old school computer, no Wi-Fi. The pretense of trying to help him. Keep your hands on the wheel, will you? She snapped in an irritable little buzz of a voice that brought his anger right back up again. Uh oh. He was going to say, "It's not just a couple of hours." One um. Excuse the mess. I I'm just getting back. It's just. I wanted to, so um, what, 
you just watched was I did that yesterday. At, um, she is on uh, in the afternoon. It is now three twelve a.m. a.m. Uh, Friday morning. I just want to listen to ghosts. So what what do I want to address? I, I mean, in Jason's response to my my tag, he, he called my channel schizophrenic. He said, um, uh, "Check out Alan's channel. It's a bit schizophrenic, but no." Uh, and I don't. It was a like. Um, off the cuff remark. I understand that. I, he didn't mean it personally, and I didn't take it personally at first. But uh, then, not only did I start thinking, it's kind of like it's using saying, uh, "Tony's channel's uh, good. You guys should check it out." It's a get this uh, going. So yeah, to me, it's a bit like saying, "Go check out uh, Tony or Mark or." Brian's channel, it's a bit gay, but yeah, go check it out. I mean, why, do, why, does, why does my channel have to be schizophrenic, you know? Um, I'm not trying to start shit. I know some people are friends with them who are subscribers of mine, etc. Just um, understand where I'm coming from when I'm not so enthusiastic, you know? He also uh, DNF'd uh, Bolaño, you know, on... Uh, Marching Madness, his uh, baby, uh, the book that I think is the best book I've read this year, bar none, you know, so, you know, whatever. Huh. Is that all I wanted to say? Can I finally post this? God. Yeah, so, that's it.